Joe Biden announces cisgender accident-induced cyclopses must allow transsexual women to penetrate the gaping hole in their face with their phallus. The legislation is set to be passed in the first 100 days of his presidency is intended to encourage relations between cisgender white men and transsexual women. Whew, a lot to unpack here, guys. I, I just, I don't know. Um, I don't know about this one. Um, I, don't, I don't really know where to begin. Uh, is it even constitutional? According to former federal prosecutor David Shirtler of Shirtler and Honorado, those whose eye has been eviscerated in an accident, possibly a car accident, or even a really bad skiing accident, and they are a homo sapien, have the right to minority protections under the Constitution. The question is, who is more oppressed, the transgender or the cyclops? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. Um, David goes on to say, if this goes before the Supreme Court, we're going to be a divided nation. I agree. I agree. If the Cyclopses win, the gaping eye hole will be uh, protected, which is great for them. But if the transgender community and Joe Biden win, the Cyclopses' eye hole becomes the transgender's bitch. I mean, I'm scared for that. I, I know, a, I know a kid who was a pathological liar in in, in high school. He uh, told a bunch of people that he um, saved this girl from being jumped by these guys. In the process, he uh, just you know got took a baseball bat to the head and lost his eye. No, he was trying to rob someone. Yeah, yeah he's gonna be fucked in the eye now, maybe. Um, Billionaire transgender rights leader and Hyatt Fortune heiress, uh, heir, heiress, Jennifer Pritzker has said the right of transgender women to lo make love to the eye hole of a cyclops is reparations for years of white privilege and the ostracization of trans women in nightclubs. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Um, Republican Dan Crenshaw uh, had this to say publicly. He would bite the dick off anyone that would try and assault his hole. But should the legislation pass, he will honor the Supreme Court's decision. I mean, sure. I could see, yeah, absolutely. I could see that. It's like Nancy Pelosi's comments on it are so obnoxious too. She's like, this has been a long time coming. I'm like, well, what do you, what? Where's that coming from? I don't like, how, how so? It's such, a, it's such a recent nuance having like cisgender this, uh, like cisgender bathrooms versus like, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know, like just like zizzer, like really, all these pronouns, it's all new. And now people with a gaping hole in their face because of an accident have to take it? My God. Whew. Oh, scary. I mean, I still don't think we need to force these social transitions. Why can't they happen naturally? Like, what do we have to tell people, push diversity down their throat? If it's good, and it's, it'll happen naturally, let it progress naturally. The idea that transgender people are being like locked up for their idea, that doesn't exist. It's a social convention, it's not a legal one. It's not like, you know, arresting gay men at nightclubs or something like this in the 60s. This is different. This is strange. It's like at the most like simple level of you haven't have you haven't had your eye hole fucked by a transgender yet? Oh my god, have they have they rounded you up at your house? What has your wife said? Has she tried to divorce you yet? What are you talking about? This is crazy. Crazy world. And the other thing is if we care about diversity so much, why don't we care about diverse opinions? Why is everyone that stormed the Capitol being lumped in with every other conservative, libertarian, or you know, right-leaning thinker? Why are they all the same? Oh, you committed treason, you committed a you, insurrection, you, you're a terrorist, whatever. You're, you, uh, you're just like all the other 75 million Americans that voted for Donald Trump. That's weird too. It's not, it's not all the same. You know, it's like diversity is important, but you're all the same. Huh? Really? You think so? 
How about just the bifurcation of left and right, that we should have both? And how about, what was her name, Susan Rosenberg, that stormed and bombed the US Capitol building with 1960s or something? She's on the board of Black Lives Matter. Anyone care about that? What's the, what's the, what's the deal? Same shit, sort of. I mean, also, she doesn't stand for every liberal. She's one person. Just as the people that stormed the Capitol and the grandmother waving her flag and, oh, this is so nice, such a beautiful building. She's not the same. Like, it's just such a generalization. It's like call, uh, Trump called people American patriots, which insinuates that he was trying to incite violence. The what? He's trying to incite violence and trying to condemn transsexualism. What? It's these inferences are crazy, but going back to the topic, the gaping hole, I just... I, it could happen to me. It could be one of us. It could be your child, your son or daughter. Well, I guess it's... I don't know. I don't... What if it's a... It's a he... She is a, a gay woman, and so she'll sleep with your daughter if she has a patch on her eye? Like, do you want that? Like... Someone like, you know, breaks into your house and starts fucking your daughter like while she's in bed, right into her gaping hole, and it's like, nope, it's legal, transsexual. Like, oh, what if a guy just wanted to do that on his own and then he, call, he identifies as, you know, a woman before he just, you know, assaults your daughter in the middle of the night? It's tough, it's fine.